this carries you. That is the message he's getting across. You are getting on this train. You are welcome on this train. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this episode of How to Write Great Lyrics. My name is Jamie West, and I'm a musician, writer, and performer. Today, I want to talk about a song that I love. It was recently performed at the uh, presidential inauguration, and it's called Land of Hope and Dreams by Bruce Springsteen. The first thing to say about this song is that it borrows from some older songs. That's the first technique that he uses. There's a song called um, This Train or This Train is Bound for Glory that has um, a lot of different versions of it. There's a good one by Woody Guthrie. Um, and there's another song that he borrows on, uh, borrows from, which is called People Get Ready. And that was sung by The Impressions, written by Curtis Mayfield. And both those tracks have um, a train as their central metaphor. That's the next technique that he's using. He has an overarching metaphor that runs through the whole song. And what he does is he adapts these old, these old songs and he puts his own spin on it. As we'll see as we go through, um, he changes it quite a bit to get across the message that is important to him. Let's start from the beginning. There's a little introduction and then the first verse begins. Grab your ticket and your suitcase. Thunder's rolling down the track. You don't know where you're going now, but you know you won't be back. Is another top class opening line. Ticket and your suitcase, um, that comes up in People Get Ready. Um, and it's symbols for travel and it's, it's concrete. We can quickly imagine those thunders rolling down the track. This is something powerful. This is an element. It's, it's thunder, you know. Um, then it says, you don't know where you're going now, but you know you won't be back. This is a very interesting lyric. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> With a train, you're on tracks, right? But in this case, you get on the tracks, but you don't know where you're going. You're going somewhere. Train tracks often are a symbol for destiny. It's a certain but vague destiny. Something that you may have felt in your own life. Um, imagine you're standing on a, state, a train platform, and you're looking out and you can see the first bit of the tracks, but that's all you can see, you know? And that's why it's a great metaphor because you, you there are tracks, they are going somewhere. <laughs> you just don't know where. And you've got to take it on faith that you're going to be getting somewhere. And this song is a lot about faith and courage, stepping into faith. If you think of that scene from um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, where he steps out onto that bridge, he can't even see it. He just has to take it that it's there. That is what this is. You don't know where you're going now. It says, well, darling, if you're weary, lay your head upon my chest. We'll take what we can carry and we'll leave the rest. And this is not exactly about what's in the suitcase, what actual real life luggage you're taking on a train. This is about your old life, your old ways of being, your emotional baggage that you are leaving behind. There's a sense of, we'll take what we can carry. That's all we need. We're going to leave behind old habits, old ways of thinking. Who we used to be, we're leaving it. We're going somewhere new. We will be changed by this experience. This journey will change us. The chorus goes, big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. Meet me in a land of hope and dreams. <laughs> I love that line, uh, big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. It's got a nice um, uh, uh, assonance on the rhyme. Wheels, fields, streams, e meet, it's, it's, it runs really smoothly and it's a couplet. So whereas previously it had been every other line that rhymes, these two lines rhyme together. And that gives a sense of completion. 
you've, you've arrived at the destination. You've arrived at the land of hope and dreams. Carries on. I will provide for you and I'll stand by your side. You'll need a good companion for this part of the ride. Interesting uh, lyric of I will provide for you. I don't think he means this like, um, maybe he does, but as a kind of like, oh, a man will provide. Maybe it's that, but it's more like, I think it's probably more like providence will provide God or something like that will provide um, and they'll be your companion. This song will also be your companion. He, Bruce Springsteen singing this, is your companion. And I remember when he came to um, London for his um, promotional tour for his autobiography. And um, I didn't get, I couldn't get tickets to see him, but he was uh, doing like a book signing. And I heard him talk about it afterwards. And he said, oh, you know, people wanted to come up afterwards. And the main thing they want to say to you is thank you. And the reason for that is because he's been a companion to us, to people who love his music, and he's played that role. And so you feel grateful. It says, uh, leave behind your sorrows. Let this day be the last. Or tomorrow there'll be sunshine and all this darkness past. It's more sun there, um, more light, more promise. It says, let this day be your last. Traditionally, the train song is maybe about a train going into the afterlife. Maybe this is a, it's got echoes of that, but it's more about Leaving your so- let this day your lo- let this be your last day of sorrow. Tomorrow things will be better. Uh, then it goes into the chorus. Then it comes into the bridge, which is a fantastic bridge, which uh, subverts things like the Woody Guthrie version in an interesting way. It says this train carries saints and sinners. This train carries losers and winners. This train carries whores and gamblers. This train carries lost souls. Now, Woody Guthrie's version, which I love to sing, is uh, this train. This train don't carry no smokers, two-bit liars, small-time jokers. This train don't carry no gamblers. It's it's a no <laughs> from a lot of Woody Guthrie's train. It's it's a it's a lot of fun. It's um, but this is the complete opposite. This carries everyone. This carries you. That is the message he's getting across. You are getting on this train. You are welcome on this train. And when you sing it to a stadium full of people, and when you're in a stadium watching him perform, there's a big feeling of unity that you are all leveled somehow. On the, you're all the same in this moment of this song. It says... This train carries brokenhearted. That'd be quite a lot of us. <laughs> I'm not brokenhearted now, but you know. This train, uh, thieves and sweet souls departed. This train carries fools and kings. This train, all aboard. <laughs> and it says, uh, I'll just say that the all aboard is such a great um, line to be able to uh, uh, yell out. This train, dreams will not be thwarted. This train, faith will be rewarded. And that is so crucial in this song. It's creating a space of possibility, of hope, that it's likely, it's kind of under the song, that you've had dreams before that have been thwarted and you have been deeply wounded by that experience. And this song, in this moment, from You believe, you think, I can do it. (laughs) Whatever I want to do, it will happen this time. And you need to have, I think there are times in your life when that is exactly what you need. You don't need someone to realistically come and say, look, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. And well, get on with your life. Sometimes you need to have a conviction and a faith that things are going to work out and that propels you forward. And that's the kind of mindset this song puts you in momentarily. It says, this train, the steel wheels singing, this train, bells of freedom ringing. Another echo back to other songs, chimes of freedom. And of course, the uh, 
the constant refrain of this train carries, this train carries, this train, this train, this train. It builds meaning every time. Every person who's added to that list, every, um, you know, if you're, every feeling that you might be, that you might have, you, if you're brokenhearted, it adds, it adds, and it builds. It is not just meaningless uh, uh, repetition. And of course, the repetition means that it's more singable, more memorable. And uh, yeah, love this song. It was fantastic. Uh, it, work, it works great solo when he does a sort of uh, uh, slightly more mm, mournful version of the song, or, but it works great with the band as well. Um, and it, it's a really rousing song, really touching, beautiful, optimistic, but not shying away from the challenges. So that's my interpretation and analysis of the song. Just to recap, you can use an old song to inspire you, use an overarching metaphor, and you can use repetition. Uh, that'll be coming up a lot. You can use repetition to build meaning. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll be looking at Yusuf Cat Stevens' song, If You Want to Sing Out, Sing Out, another song about possibilities. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am one like away from getting all the approval I'll ever need. So um, maybe that like could come from you. I will see you next time. Take care.